Cool, man. Yeah. So, you still gonna do what you said? What, go to Blackpool and get Tommy? I am, yeah. Tyrone, that's kidnapping. No, it's really serious, and if the police find out, which there's no way they're not gonna, you'll end up locked up. Can't help that. Yeah, well, when they find Tommy, they'll just take him back anyway, so what'll be the point? Oh, hello. <laughs> I wonder do it well. Having a day out, are you? Yeah. Just can't decide where to go, can we? Well, me and our Jack used to go away the bank holiday, you know, but we always ended up in a pub. <laughs> a different pub to us local, so it seemed as if we'd had a change. <laughs> Can I get you a coffee? No, we're all right, thanks. Right, well, I'll leave you to it then. You know that grandma is with? She's his legal guardian. You can't just take him away from her. Yeah, and so is his granddad, and he don't want him there. Anyway, I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for Jack and Vera. They want him here. No, you're not. You're doing it because you feel guilty. Because you were the one in charge of him when they took him back. Yeah, well, it might be that as well. But I don't care. I'm going to do it. And if you want to stay here, then I'll go on my own. <sighs> oh. Yeah, these are the various properties that I own. Tenants in them and what they pay. Hey, what will it lend by is this? Yeah, well, that's between you and me, that is. I don't want the world and his wife getting an eyeful. The what? <sighs> All right, I've uh, kept me distance so far and let an agency deal with the tenants. But I'm hoping you'll come a bit cheaper. I see, so uh, I'll be like collecting rents. Yeah, I'm keeping a general eye on what's going on. I'd suggest you take a tour around today, see what uh, needs doing. But don't go listening to what the tenants think, otherwise you'll get a list as long as you're armed. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. And we'll have another chat after you've been round. I'm still not sure what this job will add up to. No. Or whether it'll add up to a proper full-time job at all. So if there's anything better you're being offered, I'd find it. All right. Better make it work, then, haven't you? Morning. Oh, hi, Morning. Greg. Oh, it's a shame you're having to work. Oh, you won't hear me complaining. No, I'm doing that for you. <laughs> <laughs> See Bye you later. Yeah. Have a good day. They won't be open for a while yet. Oh, no, I'm starting work today. Natalie said to come early so she can show me the ropes. Well, that's not instead of college, surely. No, as well as college. So I could do part time while I'm there. Well, we didn't know we were born in my day. You went to university and you had a grant you could live on. So why don't we? Such a good system, why'd you have to go and change it? Well, it wasn't me personally. No, I'll try around the back, I'll see you later. All right, Nathan. Good luck with the job. Bye. And anyway, how are you going to do it? Wherever he is, his grandma's going to be with him. She's not just going to let you take him, is she? Well, I don't know all the details, Maria. I just want to get there first. Yeah, well, if we do ever manage it, she's not going to know it's us. She's going to be beside herself. Well, we'll leave a note or something. Saying what? Saying, no need to worry, Tommy's OK. Sort of thing. Yeah, well, you don't even know where they live. Yeah, I do. I got it out of Jack. Are you two still here? You're going to miss best at weather if you don't get a move on. Yeah, we're getting going now. Well, I am. You come in. Yeah, go on then. Good. If we get a move on, we'll catch a ten past train. Enjoy yourselves. We'll try. Here, hang on a minute. Train? Where are you going? Well, I don't know how good you are at adding up, but the till does most of that for you and even tells you what change you need to give. I'm used to handling money from CAF. Yeah, it's fellas you've got to get used to handling here. I'm not bothered about them. <laughs> yeah, well, the majority don't mean any harm, but they do think they've got the right to chat you up if you're serving them. Yeah, I just smile and act like butter wouldn't melt. And all the time I'm thinking, have you looked in a mirror lately? Because I wouldn't let you within ten yards if it weren't part of my job. But listen, if it ever gets out of hand, then let me know. Oh, don't worry, I'll tell them first. Don't worry. I don't think you'll have any problems. <laughs> right, let's give you a guided tour. Oh, uh, Natalie, is it all right if I get off early today? Only Linda wants to take me into Manchester for buy me a dress for a wedding. Buy you a dress? Yeah, cos I'm, I'm going to be her best woman, or whatever she's calling it. And what do you have to do? Well, honestly, I haven't got a clue. Except wear a nice dress. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose so, but wait till the rush has died down, then give me a shout before you get off. All right, so. Come on, then. Hello. If you've had enough of me, just say it. And what if I haven't? Well, it's a bank holiday, and I, I wondered if you fancied a drive out somewhere for lunch. Ah, well, I fancy it, but Norris is off today, so I'm holding the fort here. What, all day? Well, I'm closing over lunchtime. Do you fancy drinking the Rovers? Because that's as far as I'm going to get. I'll see you there. Thank you for listening to me going on. You weren't going on. Well, I think I was. But you've still got misgivings about me, haven't you? You wouldn't give up on me. Not yet. Hello, Emily. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, oh fine. Fine. Bye. See you later. Bye. 
I do hope I didn't interrupt anything. E, that's a sly question, Emily Bishop. What you really mean is, is there out worth interrupting? I did wonder. Do you know, I keep thinking I won't see him again. And then I think, well, why not? Where's the harm? His poor wife's in no fit state to give him companionship. Why shouldn't I? No reason I can see. I just think it's a pity we're not part of a wider circle. You know, if we'd friends in common, folk would be less likely to see us as a couple. I haven't heard anybody commenting. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they didn't round here. Oof. Oh, you know, I never think of myself as uh, disorganised. Oh, I wouldn't say you were. No, I don't Jesus. mean domestically. No. No. Uh, washing, cleaning, I'll get a little behind. We all do. Right. But when it comes to business... You're ahead. Absolutely. So why is that place back there such a mess? Come on, I haven't even opened half of last week's mail. Haven't replied to the half that I have opened. And all I seem to do is run around from shop to shop to shop, going faster and faster, and at the end of every day, I'm a little bit further behind than I was the day before. But maybe you should delegate. Uh, well, I don't trust anybody. Ah, uh, that's why, then. Probably is. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to be somewhere else, and then somewhere else again, Also, I can get back in time for you to go home. And now you're thinking, why didn't this idiot just stop yakking and just go? Fair comment. No, I, actually, what I was thinking is I'm not exactly rushed off my feet. Why don't I have a go at sorting that lot out for you? That's if you trust me. Well, well I might trust you, dearie, but um, I know me. I'll still want to check everything you've done, so it'll still take me just as long. Not if everything's sorted out and in order and your mail opened and <laughs> half of it chucked away if it's out like mine. Oh, you wouldn't mind? I wouldn't be offering if I did. Well, OK, thank you. And anything personal, I'll just put on one side. Anything personal, I'll be amazed. I do not have time for anything personal. This is it. I says to him, excuse me, do you know if a Carl Mason lives here? And he says, why? And I says, cos he's my uncle. Good, eh? And he said... Yeah, flat 64. OK, so we know that. Now what do we do, Einstein? Well, we stop here and we watch and we hope that Tommy comes out. Well, he's not going to be on his own if he does. Well, you don't know. Tyrone, they've only just brought him here. I'm not just going to let him go wandering the streets, are they? I don't know. Let's just wait and see. Oh, I'll get that one. And a pint, please, Natalie. And a pint. Oh, this is all part of the hard sell, is it? Well, I'll warn you, it's not going to work. There's no hard sell, Fred. I have a shop standing empty and you're looking for someone to move your business to. It's as simple as that. No, it's not simple. Yeah, yeah, all right, I might be able to move my business, yes, but what I can't move is my customers. It's not far, and you said they'd follow you. And what if they don't come? Well, then you'll find some more. Fred, Fred, it was you who approached me. I thought you were keen. I were. Wanna... I were. Just about time to think. 3.20. Thanks, man. One sister leaves, another one takes over. Is that the idea? The idea is you tell me what you want, and if you're lucky, I might serve you. Go on, then. I'll have a pint. So, uh, are you permanent? Are you just playing at it? Permanent, I hope. Well, you won't go far, carrying on like that. Yeah, well, I'm being distracted, aren't I? Oh, sorry, you want dead silence when you're pulling the pint, do you? Shut up. Have you seen this wedding list? Yeah. There's nothing I can afford on it. I think I'm going to have to rob a bank. Well, you know what Linda's like. She'll be looking to see who buys her stuff and who doesn't. And six months down the line, when they decide they need some staff cuts, we'll know where we'll be going, don't we? No. Honest. She wouldn't do that. No. And you're going to run that risk, are you? Turn up without when everybody else buys or something? Oh, I don't know. Could I just have uh, a mineral water, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh you're, <laughs> you're looking I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like to drink? Can I get you one? Oh, no, no, no. You, you'll be waiting for Rita. Well, she won't be here just yet. Uh, come on, what, what can I get you? Oh, thank you. Uh, Tomato juice, please. Right. Thank you. I can do some look. Yeah, I know. So what? How does that help us? We know they're definitely here now, don't we? 
And we know Tommy's inside. Yeah, and so's his grandma and her boyfriend. We're not just going to leave him alone. OK, but we'll go to her phone and ring them. You've not got the number. We can get the number, and then we'll phone up and we'll say, can I speak to Tommy, please? And then when he answers, I'll say, first chance you get, run away, and then we'll grab him and we'll go. Do you know, I don't believe you sometimes. What's wrong with that? Everything! First of all, he won't even let you speak to him. Tommy won't have a clue what you're on about, and they're certainly not just going to stand there while he runs out. Will you suggest something, then? I can't. Well, I'm not going without him. I don't care. <sighs> the money whether I do or not. Well, there's a lot of us in that boat, love. I'd be struggling myself if it weren't for what Dennis gives me, because I get night off Les. Um, can you tell Vic, if he comes in, that he's too late and I've gone? I'm not your messenger telling yourself. Well, I would, but he's not here. Toya, you're doing very well, but could you just try being a little less sharp with folk? What do you mean? Well, just there, when Steve asked you to pass on a message, just say yes, cause I will. Well, I might do when he shows me a bit of respect, but not when he treats me like a joke. Right. So, what about...? Hey, I've got it. Go on. Those of us that are going to the wedding, instead of getting presents of our own, why don't we club together and get one between us? Oh, no. Might look a bit mean. Never mind that. Look, it means she can't pick on any of us for getting anything, can she? So are you going to organise it? If you like. So, uh, how much do you think? I don't know. So, should we go and have a look, or have you gone off the idea altogether? Don't mind having a look. How long is it since they were finished? About six months. And still not let oh. You must be getting desperate. I say, you must be making pretty generous reductions to tempt folk in. Well, it depends on how long a lease they're after. Five year, and I might be very generous. Five year? They might not be here by then. No, but the shop will be. Come on, let's have a look and then we'll talk figures. Well, I'm, I'm not really interested in war and politics and that sort of history. No. But you give me a really good family tree and all those lives overlapping. It's fascinating. And, of course, it's the randomness of it. I mean, being in a certain place at one time, or meeting that person at a different time. I was time. wondering whether uh, you and Rita were, would like to come to dinner, uh, say, Wednesday. Uh, oh, and I was listening, and yes, I, I'm sure it must be fascinating. Wednesday? Yes. Oh, uh, yes, well, I'm sure, sure you would. Uh, of course, I will have to ask Rita. Well, I, I just thought it would be somewhere to talk properly, and, uh, of course, you know Norris. He, he lodges with me. Oh, yes, he works for, with Rita. Yeah. Yes, uh, so there'll be four of us. Of course, uh, I'm not saying it'll be exactly a random meeting, but... Uh, it might be fascinating, in its own way. Huh. Not right big, is it? Well, not if you were looking for somewhere to garage a jumbo jet, no, but more than adequate for a butcher shop, I'd have thought. So, what's this deal you're offering me? Didn't know I were. Say, 50% off for six months. Of a five-year lease? Two. <laughs> I can't do it. No, oh, well then. For a two year lease? Yeah. Best I can do is 50% off first two months. Four. Three. I feel like one of them little lambs I used to watch going to slaughter. Go on then, 50% off first three months, and it's a deal. You'll not regret it, Fred. Of course I will. I regret everything, me. Come on, let's have a drink. <laughs> No. Corned beef hash shoot you for tea? Why not? Right, I'll get some corned beef. Wonderful. Fantastic. Well. This lady is what I've been looking for all my life. Yeah, me too, but I found her first. And I appreciate it. You know, I go out, everything's a mess, I come back, it's all beautifully organised, thank you. Yeah, but you can't have gone through it all yet. I might have got some things wrong. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You know what? Because you made me feel as if I'm in charge of my life. That's what matters. Listen, do you think we could make this like um, a regular thing? 
Well, I might not always have time. Well, we will make time. And, of course, there's going to be a little bit more money coming your way, since this is more than what you signed on for. Thank you. It is. Uh, Deirdre, this is promotion. <laughs> is he always like that? Well, most of the time. Well, at least your mother will be pleased. She always said you were lowering yourself taking this job. And now I can tell you've got promotion already. <laughs> Everybody else, it might be, but I'm not everybody else, am I? I'm not saying you're everybody else. Lagging, lady. Look at her, she'll be back in a minute. Well, keep her out here, stop her or something. Huh? I don't know. Oh, please, don't be grumpy. There's just no reason. I hate it when we talk. Don't worry, I'm not being grumpy. I've just got to go to work. You are being grumpy, Carl. Admit it, you are being grumpy. I can tell. Leave it, will you? Well, I'm only trying to get this thing Look, you've got expression on your face. I'm just going to work, all right? I know, but I'm just asking you not to Dory, go to work. Dory, will you leave it? Tommy, hey, uh, how are you? What are you doing here? I've come for you. I've got my own guy now, dear. No, but they want to see you again. Do you want to come with me, yeah? They won't let me. Yeah, but they won't know if you're quick. Here, put that on the telly. Tyrone's girlfriend, yeah. What are you doing here? Um, I'm just passing. I'm just here for the day. And who else is? No one. I'm on my own. But um, I'm glad I bumped into you, cos I was just wondering, like, am I going the right way for Blackpool Tower? Blackpool Tower? Yeah. I'm meant to be meeting someone there, you see, and I've got lost. I don't know what your game is, young lady. But whatever it is, you are wasting your time and you are not going to waste any more of mine. No, honestly, but... Maria, come on, quick. Hello there. Oh, please, uh, <laughs> do sit down. Can I get you a drink? Oh, thank you, yes. Emily, are you sure you're... Uh, right? No, I must go. Well, we'll be seeing you soon. Emily has asked us for dinner. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Well, I just thought it would be nice, and um, also it, it was what you were saying about how awkward it can be always being just the two of you. Oh, I see, right. Yes. So, uh, it's Wednesday night, all right? Well, yes, thank you. That's lovely. Oh, thank right. you. Right. Bye, then. See you, Good. <laughs> Bye. And you know the hotel where we're having the wedding? I booked you in for the night before. Honestly? Yeah, no expense spared on this one, Gina. And don't forget, we're going to choose your frock. Oh, yeah, well, Natalie knows I won't get up. It's just a bit soon, yeah. Oh, it's all right. There's no rush. I'll have my drink. And when I'm finished that, if you're still busy, I'll have another. <laughs> hey, uh... Hey, the blushing bride. I've never blushed. I don't know how. <laughs> Everything ready for the big day? No, but it will be. Who'd have thought it, eh? Marrying boss. After everything you used to say about him when you first started working there. I know. I bet you say him about me now. Only behind your back. Well, I hope so. Nobody wants to know what folk really think of them, do they? Thank you. Emily gone? Yes. I think she wanted to start planning this dinner we're having. Oh, dear. Should I have said no? Well, you couldn't, could you? It's just that it might not be the most exciting night you've had. Unless Norris decides to give us his opinion of me going out with a married man. That might liven things up a bit. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, hello. Hey, working for me now. I think we all are, aren't we? <laughs> Fred's taking a lease on number 14. Yeah? Hey, I'll be calling round for you around then. <laughs> well, let us get in first. I think we'll be wanting more drinks round here, my lovely. Same again, and... Uh, fine, thanks. Right, I've had a look at all of these properties of yours. Um, I thought we were going to be short on grammar. Now your sister's left, so you've stepped into breach, have you? I haven't stepped in out, I'm just working out. Well, I'm sure we're all very pleased about that. Gives us something nice to look at when we're slaking us thirst. If you mean layer at, then you can go and lay up something else. Not any pieces of meat. No, of course not. Toya, could you just finish serving Fred, then I want a little work with you. Thank you. Come back in and find Tommy gone and a piece of paper saying Tommy is all right. And we've taken him back to Jack and Vera. 
Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> don't make me laugh. I found that girlfriend of Tyrone skulking about outside. I don't suppose you know anything about her, either. Well, no, I don't. Right. Well, I'm ringing the police. But why do that if you know that it's all right? But I don't, do I? You say you know nothing about it. Well, I don't. But, I mean, if that's what they've done and they're bringing him back here, you know he's safe. So why go bothering police? I want to know the minute you set eyes on him. And then I want him back here by tonight. Look, I'll ring you later. Jack! Hey, Jack, they're bringing out Tommy back. Anyway, have a good time. <laughs> we will. Oh. oh, and in case you're wondering, no, we haven't heard from Mike, but Mike's still expecting him next week to be his best man. I wasn't going to ask. Oh, well, no, we don't have to. <laughs> Toya, I know it's your first day and you're probably feeling a bit nervy, a bit on the defensive. I just don't want to be treated like some sort of table decoration, that's all. No, but you are going to have to get used to being treated like a barmaid. Well, that depends on... No, it doesn't, actually. Because if you want to be a barmaid, you're going to have to stop biting people's heads off. You're going to have to smile, you're going to have to act pleasant. You don't have to mean it, but you do have to do it. I suppose. Well, either that or you go. Can I get anything else for you three good-looking fellas? <laughs> Two large scotches, please, love. Oh, I reckon we're going to have to think about getting you some wheels. Really? Hey, nice one. Uh, and uh, another one of these, please, love. Yeah, make that your last. I might need driving around later. Right. <clears throat> Boss. Go on, mate, sit there. Oh, my lad! <laughs> oh, you've come back to your grandma, haven't you? What do you think you've achieved by all this? Got Tommy back, didn't we? Yes, you have. You've got us into a right flaming mess and all. But it's where he wants to be, don't you? You want to be here? Yeah. Don't send me back, Grandma. No, love, I won't. No, you're stopping here with me and your granddad. <laughs> <laughs>